So, how's our farm doing, by the way? Well, it's good. I got a nice harvest of wheat, and I managed to get some more grain to spread. And... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Share, share a grape with me. Oh, it was a grape? Yeah, it was a day just like any other. Josh and I were out by the field, testing some grapes, eating them like royalty. But the day was about to take a turn. It had been slowly drifting our way for weeks now. Each passing storm and each gust of wind led it towards Josh and I. A flying craft, a hot air balloon. But we didn't know this at the time. We didn't know that anything without wings could fly. Apart from me, occasionally, after one too many chilies. But yeah, let's, let's, let's have a look yeah. at the house. Let's have a look at the house. Hey. Turn, you okay? Turn around. How could something so large sneak up on us so well? Again, the only thing I can compare it to is after I've eaten one too many chilies, it sneaks up on me way too well. Uh, oh, I gotta go. Uh, what? oh. oh. <laughs> What's happening? Is it just gonna... Oh, there's... there's... bodies. Wait. Josh, we need to stop it. Josh, grab some... we need to stop it. I let my perfect hero complex get the better of me. Deciding I needed to bring this bird down would be our undoing, but we needed to save whoever was on board. Rope, 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 rope. Where is the rope? Uh, okay, got some rope. Go quick! Oh my gosh! Quick! Ah! Get it on there! Here, let's catch it! Let's catch it up okay, on the trees! We're gonna have to climb a tree! Okay! What? That rope is what? in a really bad spot! I've never what seen! Are we gonna do? I managed to sling a rope around a hook in the basket, but it was still just out of reach. We headed into the woods in hopes to climb a tree and reach this rope, and ultimately bring this thing down to the ground. It's like a... Like if a bird was fat and bulbous. Yeah. Oh, it might get tangled on the trees! Here we go. Hang on, wait, let me move this rope. <laughs> the rope was fleeing Josh's grasp and we tried to grab on and... Uh, well, I fell. That's okay though, Josh is light on his feet. Hopefully he'll be able to reach the... Okay, we need a different plan. Okay, Josh, see this silly hill up ahead of us? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go to there, we gotta count it, we gotta meet it. So wh what did you what did you say you saw inside? There were bodies. Like, like alive or...? No, long dead. Okay, I mean... I'm not sure. We might not. Stop. <laughs> you missed! Josh's egg narrowly missed the basket. I'm sure if that did hit, it would have brought it right down, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to try something else. What do you see? There's two bodies. There's a, a box. Watch out, Josh, watch out! Back up! Oh, it's coming straight for me. It's headed straight for Josh. It's on a collision path with his head. Oh! It's going to... Oh! Oh! Watch out, Josh! Oh! Josh! Josh! The hot air balloon hit the tree, scooped Josh up and headed up into the heavens. And Josh was trapped. How? How was I supposed to reach him? At this point in failure, I would normally let my goals and dreams float away, just like this hot air balloon, but Josh is inside. I, I can't give up just yet. Hello? I, I, I can't reach you up there! Is there any way that you can lower- that you can descend or- There's- hang on. What is this? Whoa! Well, it would appear that the winds have changed and Josh is now on course back to the house. I have to beat him back to the house in order to, to catch him somehow. I, I, I don't know. There was just too many thoughts running through my brain. I could I could build a dirt maybe tower he jumps and into my arms. I could try and build a big well, net. Maybe I just say goodbye to him forever and start life over again. Josh! Josh! <laughs> Josh! It seems Josh was able to take control somehow and, and descend this balloon ever so slightly towards this gravel hill. But with nowhere to steady the winds or slow the craft down, he was gonna make a crash landing. Just cra crash, oh gosh, crash it into the gravel! Oh no! Okay. Alright. Brace for impact, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Hey. What do you mean impact? Oh, well, you're gonna hit the gravel, Josh! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> Josh? 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 Oh! Um... Oh. I woke from my coma just hours later and found that Josh was trapped in this basket. He's been here all night. I raced over and, and gave him a helping hand, bringing him back to his feet. Oh. Josh, are you alright? Oh. What happened? I don't... I mean, I just remember this thing coming towards the gravel and then... Oh, it's pretty self-explanatory what happened. Where am I? Oh, God. Oh, ah, get out of there! We were struggling to recall what happened and, and how, how this came to be. I mean, we were just eating grapes. I remember walking, we were, we were down by the crops, look, eating grapes together, just frolicking. And then this, this shadow came over the hill and... 
I think we tried to jump aboard and then and then the rest is a blur. It was a blur and, well, it still is. To this day, I can't really remember what happened. I mean, uh, you know, I've documented the whole thing right here and it's going to be uploaded onto the internet forever. But I just can't remember it. Okay, there's a, there's a, there's a box here. There's some coal and some food in it and a book. Hey, do you wanna, how do you feel? Do you think you can read? Give me some sunlight and a bit of food. Oh, that looks wonderful. Get yeah, food. Yeah, take this. Take this food. Mm, now, I don't know how long this food's been here, but I'm glad that Josh is eating it and not me. It says, date May 10th, 20XX. Today I embarked on a thrilling adventure in a hot air balloon. Eager to experience the breathtaking views and the sense of freedom that comes with soaring through the sky. <laughs> As we lifted off the ground, I couldn't help but feel a rush of excitement and anticipation. The landscape below transformed into a patchwork of vibrant colours and rolling hills. Wow. However, as the hours passed, I realised that something had gone terribly wrong. Thick clouds obscured our visibility and we seemed to have veered off course. Panic settled in as we realised we were lost, drifting aimlessly through the vast expanse of the sky. The wind carried us further and further away from familiar landmarks, leaving us disorientated and uncertain of our fate. And there's another entry here. A sense of despair has taken hold as we enter our second day, adrift in the hot air balloon. The sun beats down relentlessly, intensifying the heat within the basket. Our provisions are dwindling and thirst and hunger gnaw at us mercilessly. With no means of navigation, we have become prisoners of the sky, oh. our fate hanging precariously on the mercy of the wind. Oh gee, I know how that feels. As the hours crawl by, our conversations have grown more somber. We share stories trying to lighten the atmosphere, but the weight of our predicament is undeniable. We cling to the hope of rescue, desperately scanning the skies for any sign of help, but the vast emptiness stretches before us like an unending abyss. As the sun sets on another day, I hold on to the memories of the life that I have lived through the circumstances of dire. I find solace in the fact that I pursued my passion for adventure and experienced the awe-inspiring oh. beauty of the world from a unique perspective. Is that it? That's it. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's have a grape or two and reflect in the house. I think, you know, this is, you know, there's some dead bodies there. I don't. After hearing this truly heartbreaking story, it really brought the tone of the day down. Not to mention the concussion that Josh must have endured. And well, I was a bit sleepy too. We concluded that we should spend the rest of the day inside reflecting on what we'd seen. This isn't the first time we've seen something like this in this this world. I thought we were the only, you know, there was the temple with the dragon. Yeah. There's been all these underground cooms. Coombs. Coombs. All these underground cooms <laughs> with railways. Catacombs and, and tombs. And catacombs and tomes. Catacombs and tomes. This world truly has a forgotten past between the dragon, the floating eyes, and all of the mine shafts down below. There is something special going on here. Mm. There was something out of this world. Mm, there is something extraterrestrial going on here. Yeah, there we go. Wait, was that recording the whole thing? Here, follow me. Because when I was out chopping a tree earlier, I... I could feel it. I mean, I... I, I put it aside because I didn't want to give in, but... The whole time that Josh and I spent sitting inside on the couch, we could feel this pulsing. It was ethereal, coming from outside, vibrating the air molecules around us. I know, it, it, it sounds weird. Can, it, can you feel it? It's, it's almost... Stronger this way. You know, I reach my arm out. Wait. What do you see? Another eye. Another floating green eye, just like the one at the base of that dragon skeleton. What is it doing this far away from the jungle? And Josh said there was something scribed in the edge of the stone. Do you think that this could be... Well, my only set of clothes is now dripping wet. I can make that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Weighing twice our regular amount due to soaking wet clothes and Josh's... Uh, body suit. We dripped our way closer towards this podium and discovered that there were some bodies laying beside it, almost reaching out towards it. Past adventurers trying to piece together the puzzle of this world, perhaps. Oh, it's, it's strong. It's... It's making my chest shake. What are you doing with that? <laughs> it... Ah! <laughs> the Guardian of the Eye, a, a small child infected with whatever that is. It's... It, it, it has to... And we need to kill it. How about the... Yeah, with a shovel. <sighs> Josh, do you see the corpse? Josh, that was a villager baby. Alright, let's go home. <laughs>
We burnt the body, took the eye, and continued home before we could be ambushed any further. What an uh, un unearthly feeling about those eyes, Josh. I'll have to keep an eye out. No pun intended. To keep the eye in. Belongs. Right. Uh, shut the door behind me. Oh. <laughs> I'm very tired now. I don't know about you. Is he out there? I don't see him. Oh. Need help, step bro? No. Are you okay, Josh? 